Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily, Tuesday training. Des here. Just checking in after my own personal Tuesday training. Of course, I always get out with the Do One in City Slickers guys for a 5k run around Nottingham. Really try to build on Monday motivation and of course encourage activity and introducing it into the week to get us really up and going, to use those endorphins. So any good thoughts, any positivity for Monday can be built upon, we can take it forward and we can start enjoying the rest of the week. I'm gonna talk about something today, which kind of relates back into Monday motivation. Um, and again, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna be able to quantify it and get it right, but it's it's real, it's raw, it's, it's my emotions, the way I've been feeling. Um, yesterday, I spoke so much about looking forward to going to Wembley on Sunday. You know, something I've been waiting so long for and now I'm gonna try not to let anything sort of get in the way. I don't get too sort of bogged down and sort of too carried away with it. Try and keep a level head about it all. And then on the day when I'm there, really look forward to it. Because again, we can get overwhelmed by situations and things come along and we can stress about this and that. And I genuinely believe and I act in the way that I was talking about yesterday, you know, most of the time. But again, Do Daily is supposed to show the ups and downs where I, I get it right, where I get it wrong. And today, you know, I got totally overwhelmed and overtaken by the situation. I was tasked with getting some tickets for friends and family, people I'd really like to be there, people who'd get so much from the experience. And unfortunately, they sold out before I could sort of get them, get, but purchase them online. And I didn't know I was going to react like it, but I felt completely sort of overwhelmed, gutted. You know, I felt really sad. To be honest, I was a, a little bit upset by the whole situation. Do you know, it really, really got to me. I felt like I'd let them down. It's not my fault, you know, the guys understand nobody was funny with me or or gave me reason to feel like that. But again, you know, <laughs> I like to help people, I like to do things for people, I like to sort people out. And the situation just kind of got the better of me. This afternoon I felt sick, you know, to the core. Again, I don't like letting people down and if I say I'm going to do something, I like to see it through. I didn't promise anything, of course I couldn't, you know, it's it was a fair fair sort of ballot type situation. You go online, you purchase them if you can. But, you know, it really affected me for much of the day. The running session tonight has been brilliant in sort of bringing me to terms, bringing me face to face with some of those and, and seeing their understanding. And I always talk about the importance of communication. You know, when I first knew I wasn't getting the tickets, I didn't really want to talk to it any of them i didn't want to disappoint them i didn't want to upset them again i knew they wasn't gonna be angry with me but you know this is this is what happens in life isn't it this is exactly what i was talking about yesterday whilst yesterday i was feeling really positive about it and determined that nothing was going to get in the way you know nothing was going to ruin the big occasion when i got engrossed in the situation again something beyond my control i'm always talking about not being defined by that but it's easier said than done sometimes, isn't it? You know, and this is what I'm trying to sort of express through Do Daily. This is the realness, this is the rawness, this is the emotional side of life. This, these are the ups and downs. From yesterday, feeling great, looking forward to it in a, in a relaxed and calm manner, to today, where I'm feeling like I've kind of let people down and I'm gonna be enjoying something other people can't. Don't get me wrong, you know, at the end of the day, there's reasons why I've got a ticket. There's reasons why they had to wait. You know, they understand that. It's just sort of priority and, and being, following them the way I do, you know, gave me that better opportunity to do it. So it's just one of those where I thought, you know, I had to sort of talk about it. I had to sort of explain it. Hopefully you've kind of understood what I'm saying, but again, it, check back on Monday motivation. We've got to try the best we can to sort of, keep everything that little bit real. 
you know, not experience the highs and lows. Keep communicating, because that's what's actually made me feel better. Like I say, coming face to face with some of the guys at the one end, you know, speaking on messi messenger, messages, sending text messages and WhatsApp, you know, people reassuring me that everything's okay. If I'd have sat and dwelt on that, you know, if I'd have sort of not said said too much and, and really gone into my shell over it, I'd have been really, really stressed out right now. So, yeah, again, it's, it's just one of those do dailies where it's about the way I've been feeling today. And of course, this is my personal vlog, but in the space of two days, like I say, you can see the highs and the lows of a situation. Yesterday, I was talking about not getting sort of too bogged down with things people are doing, you know, too upset with um, outside influences and things you can't control, and just sort of plowing through the week and looking forward to it and then, and then enjoying it when it comes. You know, today, it all come tumbling in, it all come caving in, and again, what we have to remember is there's two things in there not to be defined by it you know once again easier said than done because i was for a good few hours but it's to sort of explain keep talking keep chatting and also for me getting out there and doing that activity that's always a positive doing that right now is Little bits of extra training makes me feel good about marathon training. It makes me feel good about sort of my ambition to lose a bit of weight and to be in this kind of shape for, for when that, the marathon comes round. But it also gave me that opportunity to talk to others, sort of express my feelings and get that out there. Do Daily is great for that as well. I, I say that all the time when I'm talking about the way I feel. Um, even if I've not got that opportunity to meet others, it's a chance for me, even in a one-way direction through through the screen. You know, it's a chance for me to offload a little bit and process everything. And just about come to terms with it all now. But like I say, it's it, it's been a tough one. It's been really tough today to to take that one. You know, and the, and the overriding feeling is I've let people down. I know I haven't. You know, but we're human beings. I always say we're creatures of emotion and you know I'm feeling and that's just the sort of sense of feeling I've got someone who really really wants to help you know try my best to put a smile on other people's face you know try my best to help people get as much as they can from life it just didn't work out today you know as the week goes on as the day's gone on one or two things have happened where Somebody said they didn't want, well, they, they would give up their ticket for somebody a bit more, who they felt was a bit more worthy, you know, and that's that's helped a little bit. It's eased my feelings, but as the week goes on, you know, I'll be looking forward to it again. That's out the way now. There's nothing we can do. I can't sort of beat myself up any more than I already have. People understand. People will want me to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to look forward to it. But, as I keep saying, as I keep referring to, if I'd not done some of the things I'd done, you know, which I've made part of my routine, the training today, if this wasn't what I did every day, Tuesday, every week, sorry, Tuesday training, I might have just gone sack that off. I don't want to do it because I want to dwell on, not want to dwell, but I might have felt like I was in such a bad place. I'm not going to sort of, get up and do my activity today but because it's part of my routine because I'm accountable to what I do here what I'm the messages I'm trying to put across it's made me get up and feel much much better about the whole situation and that's today guys <laughs> I don't want it to be a negative hopefully I've somehow managed to spin that negative into a little bit of a positive do you know it's <laughs> it is what it is I hate that word at the best of times. People have said it with all the good intentions. I've said it as well. So really looking forward to sort of going again tomorrow. Hopefully no dramas and I can get back to whatever I was thinking yesterday. Check out that episode. Hopefully between the two, you'll see the relevance in what I've said and you'll see 
where I'm coming from. It's all about being positive and enthusiastic, you know, and when the little things get in the way, bouncing back from them quickly. I think the key thing today was for me to do that. And for all the reasons I've said, it's helped me along the way. If you've enjoyed today's very, very honest and realistic episode, this is what Do Daily is all about. It's about helping people to understand these ups and downs, where we get it right, where we get it wrong. How sometimes, you know, even if we know the reality, the truth, you know, how to deal with things, it doesn't mean it, we, we always do it. It doesn't mean it always pans out like that. It just means that we understand a little bit better how we can make things better again, make things right from tricky situations. So if you've liked the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Just try my best to help and support people, encourage people to make good choices and wherever I can, add to their experience of what they're doing. Till Wednesday workout, just doing it. <laughs>